Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Big Ben's trailer trailer. This time, we're talking E3. We're not doing everything in E3, because otherwise, as you pointed out in our group chat, Knox, we'd be here for 50 hours. We're doing a little selection of some gameplay stuff, uh, a couple of cinematic trailers, um, just some stuff to sort of uh, have a little riff over. I pointed that out because I wanted to do it. I want to sit here for more than two days <laughs> and do like a, one of those sleep torture experiments that they you read about in the American version of Russia. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to. I want to do. I want to. I want to lose my mind and think that I'm Halo. <laughs> okay, I might do that. I'm probably going to do that off off mic anyway. I do want to watch as much of the E3 stuff as I can because. Yeah, I've been using that 20, 2021 E3 recap website and like there's a bunch of good shit that is like in gaming showcases I did not know happened. So yeah. 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 We'll talk about a lot of it on the podcast, but I'm keen to watch a few trailers here. I tell you what, this trailer this trailer trailer's comfy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got my little um Xbox bar fridge in here full of yeah. fucking <laughs> <laughs> Dr. V energy uh... drink. I'm in the uh, sink tube waiting room, um, ready to hang out with my boys who've been randomly assigned the names by sink tube of <laughs> yes. elementary analyst and intentional mood. Yeah. And this is me, <laughs> rural contact, I actually, telling you that I am ready to go. I chose my one. And that while we're in the trailer, just don't go in that little that little toilet here for a little while because I did not realize that it, uh, <laughs> it was the only one on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, can you imagine? Yeah, there's come everywhere. All right, well, yeah. let's get into some of the videos. Um, I'll count us in, and hopefully this all goes off without a hitch. The first one being um, the Halo Infinite multiplayer overview. And here we go. Three, two, one, a play. Well, hello. Well, well, well hello there. <laughs> it seems like it's working for me. Yeah. The start of that logo looks like the uh, Paramount. I didn't. It mm. does a little bit. Mm. But Paramount. Oh, that's, my, that's all I've got for this. <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine me having anything else of value to say. <laughs> Paramount wouldn't, be, uh, w- wouldn't even sue them if it was a rip-off, though, because like, you can't sue 343 different industries that have all come together <laughs> to make a game. Like John Wick, I am there. Yeah. Okay. You know how John Wick dresses up in a big, colourful robot suit? <laughs> Um, we don't have, uh, oh, actually, do I have to turn the titles on? Oh, there we go. We yeah, do yeah, have subtitles. Yeah. yeah. I want to know how to spell Halo. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so Halo multiplayer is probably regarded more highly than their single player campaigns, right? Like that's what everyone that I know that likes Halo talks about is... Well, all the all their best memories are, f- are from Halo multiplayer. It it depends on kind of when you're talking about. Certainly for like Halo Two was a, a big like the first big online console game. Really, um, it was early days of Xbox Live, and it was kind of the the, the go to thing. And the Halo Two campaign was a little disappointing for a lot of people. So that was certainly the case then. But I, then I think the the single player versions of those early Halos were the the single player modes were good. Okay. And I'm looking forward to uh, the single player of this one. But in recent years, especially ever since this company, 343 Industries, mm. started uh, being at the Halo helm, the single player hasn't been as good. Certainly in five, it wasn't. Right. But in short, yes, people love Halo multiplayer, uh, and used to very very much. And these days, it's more niche. I would say. Okay, right. I mean, I guess we're in the that sort of new era of multiplayer stuff. It's battle royales, and it's 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 different kinds of online multiplayer taking right. Well, because stage. it's not team deathmatch or single player deathmatch stuff anymore. And it kind of went so it went like Halo being the biggest thing, and then kind of alongside Gear of, of War, which mm. dropped off again. And then Halo got overtaken by Call of Duty, and then that was sitting at the top of the pile in terms of shooters. This is sure. for a very long time. And then your PUBGs and your Fortnites came along and 
pushed Call of Duty out of the spotlight. But weirdly, those have also seemingly dropped off in uh, people's general interest in them as well. Is the Battle Royales. Yeah. Yeah. Like this year at E3, we've gotten a lot of companies saying like, we're not bothering with this Battle Royale thing anymore. Or like the next Battlefield, we're not going to bother to do it. Or it's not even coming to the Battlefield we said it would be coming to. You know, right. like there's been a few yeah. things like that. And I think they're in a really good position with Halo to put themselves back towards the top. I don't think they'll overtake Fortnite or anything like that. Mm. But this whole trailer is saying like it's free to play now for everyone. Yeah, on, that's on, huge. On, it's it's pretty big on PC and Xbox without Game Pass even. Mm. Um, the Master Chief Collection, which was fucked at launch, has been fixed over time and is now mm -hmm. very popular on PC especially. People are getting more interested in Halo again. I think this is a... Uh, uh, well timed for people of our generation too because right um like a it was like you said very popular when we were at a very impressionable age this also is remind because i never really played it i never owned an xbox up until the one um but this is reminding me of stuff like unreal tournament which i fucking yeah. loved i frothed on unreal tournament and it was a fantastic classic deathmatch online multiplayer game and like there are um visual echoes of that in halo and there are all the, like the killing spree and all of that yeah. stuff is is really um, evokes an era of gaming for me, which I liked. And has sort of trailed off a bit, right? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that that specific example, Unreal Tournament, is a good uh, uh, example because Epic Games made a new Unreal Tournament game a few years ago and then mm -hmm. completely dropped it when Fortnite became big. So right. even Unreal Tournament itself, the people who made that killed that off <laughs> right. to make a Battle Royale thing, you know? So um, I think you're right that this is that older era. Because like the original Halo was a step forward from the Quakes and whatever that were big at the time mm. in Unreal Tournament. Mm. It had these big battles with lots of different people kind of alongside something on a smaller scale, like Battlefield 1942. Hmm. And it, it's got these vehicles and all these different sort of uh, uh, abilities and weapons and whatever in multiplayer mode. But then it does have that classic kind of deathmatch thing. And it, it, it now does weirdly have a uh, nostalgic and uh, classical kind of feel to it. So I think you're exactly spot on. Have you ever played Halo, Tommy? No, I like a little bit at my friend's house when the very first one came out. But apart from that, I've never, yeah, I've never dipped in. This looks cool though. Like not really my kind of thing, but yeah, if it's free to play, um, well, it's, I'll have a go. It's free to play on PCs and Xboxes. So yeah. okay, well then I still. get. Oh no, I, I, no, I have an Xbox. Yeah, oh, Shut yeah. Up, you bitch, you, I have an Xbox. You got an Xbox One? Yeah, it is still coming to that. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I watched this multiplayer sort of playthrough or uh, overview thing um, already because I'm very interested in Halo. And the thing mm. they're going to start getting into now of, you know, they're announcing that it's free to play the multiplayer, which obviously these days raises concerns of like, okay, so what am I actually paying? And there's, they get into it by saying... Later on in this, I should let them speak. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna spill the beans. <laughs> All right. I've got these beans right here. here. Yeah. Here on the Filthy Casuals YouTube channel. I got beans in a broken wonky vase, and they're gonna fall all over the place. And people making vase. fun of my vase of beans. Yeah. People thought my vase of beans was stupid. So I haven't really taken care of it as well as I should. And now the vase is starting to decay, and the right. beans are gonna fall out of it. Yep. Can we um can we backdate this video when we upload it so it looks like we've leaked this? <laughs> uh, in terms of payment, there'll be battle passes, which are a common thing now. You're paying for like a season of content, mm -hmm. but they won't be just seasonal. When they come, they'll be available forever, and then you earn the things that are in the battle pass that you bought. So you're buying little expansion packs of cosmetic stuff that yeah. you are then playing to unlock. That's which... the Fortnite model. It's um. When I got into Fortnite, like, six months ago, like, you know, the opposite of spilling the beans. I'm gathering the beans, they're rotten, yeah. and I'm eating them, and I'm feeling sick. Um, <laughs> well, too the old cat's for back beans. in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it me? Is it the beans? One of us is too old. 
but <laughs> I was I thought you had to pay for literally everything like in individual purchases like you used to for certain like skins and guns and stuff like that I think that was like a Call of Duty thing right you literally had to pay for everything uh kind of not with Call of Duty that that you back in the day you were paying for maps and whatever it was more right. the, the free to play games that you were yeah being nickel and dimed like that right but yeah Fortnite has the battle pass which yeah like you said you pay something like 11 bucks and then you you work to earn costumes and guns and, and other sort of cosmetic things that your little umbrella parachute thing like I I, I still think it's very predatory because the, the thing that you said about Battle Royale sort of dropping off in the general gaming consciousness I think is true it's still huge with 12 year olds and that's just like yeah that's grubby um yeah, but, oh, well, and that's what they're yeah. saying now is they're kind of trying to do it a bit differently where the Battle Pass doesn't have the time limit that is in the mm. Fortnite ones that is there to sort of keep you coming back every single day, which uh, is there to get you in front of those opportunities to spend money more. Mm -hmm. And also there aren't these per individually purchasable things or like loot boxes where things are randomized. Right. You're, you're, you're paying for exp cosmetic expansions to the game, which I think is fine. And yeah. That yeah. Can earn through game play. Stuff I like, like this. It's funny seeing this, mm. uh, these videos where they have the developers kind of talking to camera. It's just funny to imagine them just crunching, just working around the clock, not seeing their family, just so stressed on the pressure of this game and then being told, hey, can you come in and just like talk to the camera about like how great this game is? <laughs> can you take some time out of your schedule to just... <laughs> Pontificate I, man, on the free to play model, especially for Halo. Like this game has oh, yeah. really had a run of it over the la like everyone's had a yeah. bad time for the last year. But the people working on Halo, when I watched this video the first time, the like top comment underneath was like, "Look at these bags under their eyes that Halo was giving." Yeah, them. I don't want to insult their appearance. Because this guy with the beard is probably like uh, twenty-one years old. <laughs> You've got. <laughs> <laughs> you feel for them because like the single player campaign trailer that they showed at the Xbox thing for Halo seemed much better than it right. uh, than what we saw last year of the game so I don't, I'm really looking forward to this kind of onboard into the experience yeah I'm, I'm excited to play a single player Halo campaign for the first time I think yeah I'm like Tommy I did play multiplayer of the first one you know with a couple of Xboxes connected at sleepovers and shit but um, yeah. I, uh, and I guess occasionally over the years I've maybe tried to like watch a little like catch up video, you know, like the Halo oh, yeah. story in ten minutes, and it seems cool. It reminds me a bit of Mass Effect of like a yeah. a fun, well drawn alternate sci fi mythos, and if that's slick and cool and um doesn't have sort of frame rate issues and stuff like that, I um. I think I love it. It is very much hey, that. It is it is fun, campy sci-fi. What were you saying, Tommy? Sorry. I forget what it's called, but Nox, have you ever played the uh, the real time the the strategy game? The Halo, Halo Wars. Uh, yes, I was reading about that the other day. Um, I would encourage people to look into the story of that being developed because it's pretty interesting. Yeah, Just like another team being given the rights to it mm. and they're making it. And them going down to Bungie to kind of dig into the lore and everything. But Bungie are working on Halo 3, which is top secret at the time. And they they basically, like, tell them to fuck off. Because <laughs> they're, like, pretty shitty that the rights to their thing have just been given over to someone else without them getting any say in it. So this guy who you just saw before, that uh, Jason fuck something. I'm sure his name showed up earlier on the screen. Mm -hmm. If anything, it would have had to. I'm not even sure of it. I know it for a fact. <laughs> Jason something. He's been working on these games though since the original Halo and he had left after I think it was Reach was the last game or maybe he left even a little bit before that. And one of the things that happened last year when they delayed the game is they got him back in to help this guy. To help them uh, That's just gonna be kind of great. That is sort the game out and build it up properly, right? And it's a really big deal because he was a, a, a you know one of the head guys of those original Halo games, and is back to sort of create this. Really, uh, it almost feels like a reboot or something mm. the way that they're framing mm. this version of it. They want everyone to be able to get into it as their sort of first go, right? I yeah, mean, making I'd, the multiplayer yep. free to play, it's day one on Game Pass, all of that stuff. Like, it's the most accessible yeah. one so far. Yep, agreed. Also, can I just say, from a design perspective, they've really missed a trick with um, 
It's called infinite, and then they could have the O be the little <sighs> infinite symbol. Oh. Oh, wow. Fuck. They should also be You're saying right. halos come full circle, and that's like a halo, <laughs> which is a circle. <laughs> I got some ideas if you guys need any help. I got some, I got some fucking ideas. I'm, I'm full of ideas. Xbox uh, sound. Xbox sound. <laughs> I love that caption. Uh, yeah, all halo, right, nice. here we go. Next trailer. Well, that was a big, uh, big Microsoft boy. Here's a big Nintendo boy. Yeah, I think mm. we'll definitely talk in depth about this on the podcast, but... I just wanted to watch it again, honestly. I, what yeah. was it, like 2, 2.45 a.m. last night that we all watched this live? Mm. All out um, of sync as well on Nintendo's like live feed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty weird. I haven't seen anything written about that, but yeah, that was really strange. So yeah. this looks fucking great, hey? Yeah, yeah. this... I, this is a very yeah. first glimpse of it. The sky shit, I thought, oh, fuck, here we go. Really totally, strong yeah. opening. It looks as though from shots later in the... So this shot, for example, that looks like the Hyrule from the first game, right? Yes, agreed. But yeah. they've yanked some of the ground up, and you would assume mm. you're able to climb that up ground also down. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that sentence perfectly, <laughs> and we don't need to expand. <laughs> Vertical... Um, this... What's the word? Uh, up and traversal. Down. Vertical traversal? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Up, down... So something I didn't... It's hey, Tommy, sorry. No, you go. Something I didn't notice last night is that Link's lost an arm and it's yes. been replaced by like a technology robot arm that, and that's why he can do that green thing where he goes through the uh, world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw someone... I think someone was like, what's that weird glove Link's got on? But yeah, mm. interesting. Short the, and sweet. The weird, uh, the weird chanting kind of that you hear when he goes up through the little... Um, mm. Through the platform yeah. sounds really cool. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Like people have been saying for ages, like what's what's it gonna be? What's this new uh, Breath yeah. of the Wild two? What can they do? And then you see the answer is going up, and it's like, oh, of course. <laughs> sure. Now, <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this is That's this how you more make it bigger. is this more Zelda or what the duck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I included because I figured we might want to talk a bit more about Zelda. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, okay. Irrelevant. This is a buffer. Yeah, this yeah, is a bit okay, of a buffer. Great. Um, yeah, nice. I, I forgot with because Breath of the Wild came out a long time ago. Um, I played it when it came out, finished it, and didn't really go back in on it. Didn't really do much of the DLC, and right. I just I forgot. And I'm sure a lot of people did how artful the presentation of the game is, mm -hmm. how good the score is, just Absolutely. everything about it is. It's ten out of ten stuff, and yeah, just getting a reminder of that with the trailer is totally very exciting. And you know what? It was really noticeable with that trailer being the last one of the whole show. Mm. that it ran significantly better than any other game that yes. they showed during that whole presentation. Agreed. Like, yeah, just agreed. on a technical level and a presentational level and, you know, more of the same gameplay I'm absolutely fine with. The one thing from that trailer that has me a little bit... Um, not off it, but, you know, a little a bit, bit on the uh, negative Thinking side. So. Yeah. Um, it, they didn't really show any new enemies. Mm-hmm. And that was something that I, got a little grating about the first one was the repetition. Yeah. Of those. Mm. I think that, and I'll talk about this on the pod, I think that they have been made to make that trailer before they are necessarily ready to have Oh, interesting. I think that makes sense. I also yeah. don't think it'll come out in 2022. Agreed. Agreed. Um, I This is definitely one of my most anticipated games from E3. Mm -hmm. This looks fucking awesome. There's a suburb near where I grew up that's called Somerville, so I can't take this game seriously. Because <laughs> all I think about with the name of this game, Somerville, is like, oh yeah, I know the target there. <laughs> but By the way, if it's not um, if it's if it's not uh, clear yet, the way we do this is yeah, Ben's put a little playlist together. Uh, he's done all the work there, and, and me and Adam don't really know exactly what's coming up and in which order. So it would be great if we just like after this we just see like. Ben's holiday photos from like <laughs> oh, yeah. years ago. Fuck. I should have made a YouTube video to drop in. Uh. So <laughs> this is uh, this looks really cool, hey. So it, 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 it looks yeah. like really reminiscent of Inside. Yep. Obviously. Yeah. Um, it, it looks it like a bit of a heartbreaker type of thing. Uh, real characters, or at least more fleshed out. You know, Inside yeah. and Limbo were. Mm. Um, we're mute protagonists. This has got a family. It's set in the real world with something fucked up happening. It, yeah, uh, 
I'm so excited to see and like this stuff, the direction of these cutscenes mm. and stuff. It's so um, it's so subtly done. I'm definitely keen to see more. Uh, so yeah, okay, next year as well. A lot of, I mean, you would assume mm. that a lot of the games that are shown this year that are coming next year were affected by COVID. Play it day one, with you know, yeah, game pass. yeah. Some of them got COVID, is what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what it's about. Day one on Game Pass. That's cool. I didn't realize that the first time I watched it. Now this is is a funny trailer. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was for Fable. That was obviously. I think that was what right. they were maybe going for at first. Right. But we had that little teaser for Fable with the little fairy that looked a lot like this. But mm -hmm. yeah, the guy, oh, the, yeah. This, this trailer sort of making a bit of fun of trailers is very Outer Worlds tone. It is, yeah, so yeah. Not to spoil what this is, but this is the Outer Worlds 2, which I had no idea when watching this in real time and uh, I was surprised. Oh yeah, how did you watch this? You watched it as the trail, the, the, sorry, the presentation was streaming live? Yeah, I watched it at about 4am. Uh, trying to be quiet with my girlfriend next to me in bed. Um, wow, not even in another room. Nah, because she was like, oh, I'll watch it with you, and then immediately went to sleep. <laughs> Which is fair enough. I mean, the first yeah. thing I think was like the Halo trailer. She was like, okay, this robot guy sucks. <laughs> Which is also true. Uh, but yeah, the first of this I think we all liked, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I loved it. Uh, yeah, in fact, really enjoyed it. I don't like this kind of joke trailer. I, I didn't say. think I didn't it's think that it. either of you guys would. I'm, I I think it's yeah. it's like it's a good idea, but then if you think about it a bit more, you're like uh, maybe it's not that funny. But I don't know. It's a big it, announce, and it just seems like it's kind of undermining. I mean the. They have nothing you know? yet, though. They, I, I, I think that's it, probably the point, yeah. They have yeah. yeah. When you compare it directly to the Starfield trailer, which I also sh saw in this mm. Xbox thing, I much prefer the Outer Worlds one being like, yeah, we're not showing you anything. To, you know what I mean? Like, I think I'm, I'm more leaning towards your uh, point of view, Nox. Like, it's not hilarious, but it could be done way worse than it was done. Right, it's a tone-setting trailer, right? Now, what the fuck yeah. is this? Yeah, so this is a game that I just Sorry. happened to, to stumble what across. Is, what the duck is this? I meant to say. <laughs> so anyway, continue. Um, I don't know, honestly. I, I watched the trailer and was like, <laughs> absolutely enthralled by the ideas in here. It seems so creative. Yeah. Um, really fun She's tone. Up. Visually, <laughs> visually, like, cool, um... Cool aesthetics, cool design. Yeah, that reminds me of this. Alien Isolation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This seems very cool. I've never heard of Atomic Heart. Um, yeah. I, I do remember that happening during the uh, Xbox presentation and having the same reaction of what the fuck is this, and then it left mm. my brain. Yeah. I just, I think that, yeah, I had the same thing. I watched it and was like, yeah. I, I need more information to be able to, like, latch onto this, but... Uh, it's a I'm fun trailer. Chaos. I'm sure we'll uh, be talking more about that game on the podcast as well. I mean, probably not soon because we don't know what it is, but Looks in the future. Like mm. So, I've played the demo of this game. Oh, yes! Yeah, it's up on the PS5 it. already. Uh, you know Neo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Neo. I only know mm. one thing. But they've made it Matrix. Final Fantasy looking. Chaos. Matrix guy. Need to. Yeah, yeah, this God, is this is not a hope <laughs> or a dream. Uh, my reaction to this game, whoa. <laughs> it's like a uh, not quite Souls thing. It's like uh, Neo is kind of like a combination of Dark Souls and uh, like Ninja Gaiden. Sure Remember that? Awesome. Yep, yep. And uh, the, yeah, this is that with Final Fantasy trappings. So yeah, this looks cool. Chaos. Yeah, He's here, it'll be interesting to see. We had a discussion about uh, with in regards to Elden Ring about easy modes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is designed to be somewhat of a punishing game. Right. This is it. No doubt. Um, I, yeah, I reckon you guys should play that uh, demo as well. Maybe we'll talk about it next week. Yeah, I definitely am going to. I've seen a lot of criticism of this trailer, of the design and and sort of the. I characterization like being lame, but I, I mean, Chaos. it doesn't seem any lamer than most Final Fantasy stuff, which is like fun if you're in the mood for it. Right, and this is like kind of cranked up Final Fantasy, right? Like this is really mm. going hard on the... I mean, it it seems really self-aware to me. 
Yeah. I kind of like that he just looks like bland chaos. 90s dude mm. in this right. weird medieval setting. Yeah. This is like he my friend's dodgy brother. It, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it gives me... Terrible. It's given Your me... friend Rosie. <laughs> <It's called laughs> uh, no. It's giving me uh, Devil May Cry no. vibes okay. yeah. in terms of that yeah. sort of mixture of, yeah, douchebag um, slash anime um, character. It, yeah, uh, an over the top, you know, Final <laughs> Fantasy spin off <laughs> thing. Absolutely, why not? Yeah. What a title. It's kind of like. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's a crazy title. But <laughs> it, yeah, it's along the lines of like a Platinum Games, mm. you know, how they do like a fun take on something. Yeah. 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 Uh, Speaking so of fun yeah, takes. It's going to be on everything, but uh, except for the Switch, but um, mm. demo on PS5 only at, at the moment. Oh, hey. <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect to see like a fake living room sort of set up and it really threw me. <laughs> and with everyone so socially distanced away, too, so yeah. they've had to make yeah. this like gigantic picture of Wario to fill the empty space. <laughs> it's so odd because then they've just framed them separately for the rest of the presentation, I think. So it's like, you could have just done this at your desks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, new WarioWare game. How good's that? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to concoct a fake game. virus uh, in a Chinese <laughs> lab. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to track him with a chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If we were if we were doing YouTube sketches, <laughs> Wario concocting COVID would be, uh, uh, would be at the top of our list at the moment. Wasn't that Elon Musk sketch on SNL? Aren't we coming up with an Elon Musk sketch? Oh, maybe. End sketch? Was that what I never watched it. I no, just saw neither. The, the screenshot. I think he was at court because, like, Peach broke up with him or some bullshit. So, right. This, Love a little hub map. This yeah. looks cool. It's a bit of a... I'm not sure, honestly, if I'm into what seems to be the gimmick for this one, which is your little... So, you know, WarioWare's always had this cast of characters who are the people who are kind of like, hey, solve all these levels for me. Um, and in the mini games, or sorry, the micro games, mm -hmm. you are controlling these little characters to interact with the game. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what it, it seems, is. <laughs> yeah, it's it seems uh, th this is one of those franchises where they kind of uh, they love to just kind of fuck around and try very different things. Right. And this seems very high risk. It could be. It could be cool, but it something about it makes me think that people are not going to like it. No, because WarioWare as well has had like they've had a fair few flubs. You know, right? That's and it seems like the flubs happen uh, when they try and bend it a little bit. It's it reminds me a lot of uh, Paper Mario. Like right? They try and they try and do these different things that they think are going to be interesting or creative uh, and, and good on them for having a go. So but people generally don't seem to, to respond to it in the way that they mm. think they're going to. I think it's the animation of these little uh, avatar characters that bothers me. Because the, the thing, one of the things uh, I really like sure about no. WarioWare, those games, is having that rapid change of the art style between yeah. all the different games, and it's kind of undercutting that. Yeah, right. I've never actually played a WarioWare game. I've, I only know the aesthetic from the, like Smash Brothers levels and stuff, and you know, like right. the, and yeah. Mario's moves. Um, the yeah, the cartoony drawings in this look like a free-to-play iPad They're game. A bit they're new yeah, grounds. They're a bit new hey. grounds. Yeah. Yes. 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 Look yeah. at that. Uh, yeah. uh, what am I on? I'm fucking an albino black sheep over here. <laughs> but it does seem like the the actual spirit of the micro games and the very the the different art style for all of them mm -hmm. and the, the rapid movement that that's all kind of intact. Totally. So yeah. I think. Yeah. Actually, the more the more we see, the more levels we see as we watch this, because I haven't watched this yet. Uh, the 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 more. Maybe only cool, yeah, like illustrate, like this, you know, sort of um, watercolory, palette stuff. Hmm. Um, this stuff all does look great. So maybe yes, it is just the these little characters that 
I'm not going to be 100% on board with. Is it a flying right. ball? Bag? And so it looks <laughs> <laughs> imagine it looks more and more uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, well, imagine if the game was just those cool looking things without the yeah. shitty little new grounds on it because that's what the old games were. So right. you know, it, it might be more frustrating uh, to me at least that they're almost there with all the rest of the aesthetic of it, you know, and then they 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 just mm. imagine like the most beautiful you got you got a you got a Reuben sandwich, right? Which is very different. And and that that okay. fucking Silver side beef or whatever the fuck it is they put in there. I forget what it's called. Like pastrami? What are you, what do you got in there? Corn beef. Usually it's pastrami. corn beef. Yeah. Corn beef, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the corniest beef you ever tasted. You can tell that cow led a good life, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got the sauerkraut on there. And my goodness, is that kraut sour. <laughs> whatever the fuck sauerkraut is. Cabbage? It's been yep. stewed in the dipshit sauce that whatever makes it taste like that. <laughs> then like the bread. The bread was from a field... Uh, of wheat in which naked virgins lie. Okay. <laughs> so Adam, you completely you completely talked over our first look at the pause screen of this game. Thanks I apologize. I'm trying to paint the picture of the perfect Reuben sandwich that then at the end I'm going to say they just put a tiny little dollop of shit on it. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, it feels like the uh, I think the whole thing of having the little characters interacting with the mini games is because they're they're trying to push this as a yeah a multiplayer right uh, like the name of it yeah, is getting together true. right so the whole I think they're just that's like I, I think less than a stylistic choice that's about like finding a way that you can yeah you have your character and you're you're going back and forth game for game or cooperating yeah. or, or whatever it is and they did a multiplayer which, uh, focus one on the GameCube that was like the GBA one but then made kind of multiplayer which I think was well received if you were after the multiplayer part um, and it does lean on, you know, what the Switch was kind of promoted as being about, which is like, we've got these two controllers on here and you can easily slap yeah. them off. So it's insane that this game is coming out <laughs> in 2021. I know. Yeah. They will remember like 1-2 Switch, we were saying when that came out, yeah. it was so like nondescript in terms of its kind of vibe and aesthetic and everything that it was like, why doesn't that have the WarioWare aesthetic slapped on it? Mm. Well, here it is. Here it is. Somebody woke up and went, oh, fuck, my WarioWare. Oh, I forgot. Communicating is important. Stay away from those death money. Um, but yeah, I, I am. I'm. I'm interested in this. I think it looks. Uh, ben, you should try. If if you've still got your 3DS, you should get the uh, WarioWare Gold on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, uh, it's all the best ones. It's all the best micro games from all the other ones. Exactly. Mm. And it's got a ton of them. Unlike the, uh, I'm sure we'll be watching the, the the Mario Party remaster that has a whole five boards. <laughs> <laughs> it's got five boards from the Nintendo 64. Oh, I'm excited. The normal loop is completely different now. There's playable characters. And you'll see the Mona's level theme well. is kind of uh, everyday life. Hey, it's me. So she's gone. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it 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 doesn't appear as well. I guess because part of the one of the cool things about the old WarioWare games is that a lot of the time they use like whatever console they were on specific traits <laughs> to build a lot of the games around so like right. the Wii there was yes. a lot of motion stuff obviously uh, they had like a tilt one on the GBA that had a tilt sensor the DS one used the touch screen and all of that sort of stuff and this one doesn't seem to be doing that with the Switch even though it's got all these really complex things that they bragged about for ages in their controller it's just up down left right it seems to be yeah it seems to be things. and maybe it's one just, button yeah. it's just having two players right right because we haven't even seen like online multiplayer in this presentation no yeah. and knowing Nintendo I assume that that will be either not there or a fucking hassle <laughs> yeah yeah well all the HD rumble stuff and the specifics of the uh, the Joy-Con they've kind of undermined themselves with that by having the Switch Lite right yeah. so they yeah. kind of can't it feels like they cut like that new Mario Party, the first one that came out. You can't play it on a Switch Lite, so the new one they've had to be like, okay, I guess there'll have to be all these games that you can also use with buttons. Of course, right. Well, and, stuff, so. and maybe the Switch Pro that I'm sure they'll announce next week will. Uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be at the end of this video. 
<laughs> <laughs> Maybe they buried it in the treehouse. Oh, by the way, just look one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been such a great way of doing it. You just you just look closely like, wait, what's that controller that he's got in his hands? Yeah. That's new. <laughs> they just pretend it always existed. <laughs> <laughs> they gaslight us all. There's a switch part. No, we announced it last year. We just didn't notice because COVID was going on. That listing on Amazon Mexico, that's from weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's already it's already up. It wasn't leaks. We were putting it on shops. Um, but yeah, this is just this is the last video that I've got in the playlist. There's a couple of minutes left to run. Any other stuff you guys wanted to chat quickly? Maybe some Nintendo shit that you did mention Mario Party, which appears to be oh, it's a new game. It's a new release, but it is old boards remastered. Yeah, it's a it's a classics collection which they. Which they did not that long ago on the 3DS. They, right. they brought uh, out a collection of, uh, this of, one, of greatest hits mini games. And this, so this one has the boards as well. I think that one was just the mini games, right? But then, right. just the having like five boards from. I'm pretty sure each of those 64 games had that many in yes. each of them. Right. So it just feels it's really, really half assed. Mm. Which and it could and should be DLC for the. For Super Mario Party yes. on the Switch, exactly. yeah, that's what I never saw got people saying any in our yeah, Discord. It yeah, it sold really well, and it yeah. never got any kind of post-launch support. It's like one of the only first-party things they've put out that they've done absolutely zero uh, post-launch stuff for. Right, so and, and functionally it makes the most sense to have DLC just plugging in yes. and letting people play yeah. some new stuff, some <laughs> some have some more variety. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Nintendo are fucking really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's, <laughs> we'll get into that on the podcast. But <laughs> God, like uh, if Nicolas Cage, right, turned into a video game company, where most of the time you're like, what the fuck are you doing? God, right. you're weird. But then sometimes you're like, actually, that movie was pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Your methods are always weird, but sometimes they turn out the greatest art. That exists in the media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you yeah. later, fake living room. And see you later, filth. Um, thanks for watching this trailer trailer. Um, episode about E3 of the pod dropping tomorrow. Um, mm. Yeah. Mm. And we'll, we'll expand on all of that and a bunch of other stuff that we didn't cover today on the pod. So we'll see you there. Bye. Yeah. Happy E3. Bye. Happy Easter, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs>